Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the Korean horror movie called The Cat. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. So Yan works as a groomer at Kitty and Puppy, but she suffers from claustrophobia as a result of a childhood tragedy. Badanyi, a Persian cat, is collected by a woman from the pet shop. The woman is found dead in an elevator the next day, but Badanyi is unhurt. The reason for her death has yet to be determined by the police. So friend Yin's Kim Joon Sok, a police investigator investigating the murder, entrusts her with Badanyi. So Yan begins to have dreams and hallucinations about a young girl with cat-like eyes. Joon Sok and his colleagues examine the woman's CCTV footage and determine that she died of a panic attack. The cat-eyed girl kills So Yan's friend Bo Hee in her closet after she recently adopted a kitten. So Yan slashes her finger while preparing meals for Badanyi that night. Badanyi grows aggressive after licking the blood. The next day, she takes Badanyi to the husband of the deceased wife, but he refuses to accept him. His wife claimed to be tormented by a peculiar tiny child, he explains. So Yan gets disturbed and abandons Badanyi at a park. At the animal shelter, a staff member cremates a dead cat, but is pulled inside the furnace and burns to death. Jun Sok and So Yan visit the animal shelter and discover dead cats, as well as the burnt remains of a staff member. They learn that there was a stray cat infestation in an apartment complex's boiler room some time ago. The cats were left to suffocate with the doors and windows sealed shut. Workers collected the deceased animals two weeks later. So Yan observes how the murder victims were all discovered dead in a short space. She is contacted once more by a befuddled elderly woman asking for her granddaughter, who she has met before. Jun Sok learns that the elderly woman reported her granddaughter missing nine months ago, but her son closed the investigation. So Yan takes the woman back to her apartment, which is in the same building as the stray cats in the boiler room, and Jun Sok shows her a photo of her granddaughter, who looks just like the cat-eyed child. So Yan witnesses the elderly woman's son abusing his mother, and then witnesses him being killed by a swarm of cats. So Yan enters the boiler room of the complex and is confronted by cats. So Yan is deposited in a huge canister. The cat-eyed girl appears and explains how she died. She had been playing with the cats in the boiler room and sought to hide them in the canister when she learned of the preparations to murder them. She fell and was paralyzed while getting out, dying with the cats after the door and windows were cemented. So Yan visits her father in a mental hospital after conquering her claustrophobia, going in an elevator for the first time without panicking. She and Ju Sok encounter a kitten underneath their car as they leave, and she softly beckons it toward her. 